Are there any Patriots fans in the house? I say again, are there any Patriots fans in the house? I'm going to uh, tell you the best thing about today. There's a gentleman over there that walked up to me and said, Mr. Tippett. <laughs> I stood up tall. He said, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm not Mr. Tippett, but uh, I'll take that. I think then when Mr. Tippett walked in, and he saw the size of him and the size of me, he's like, yeah, you're right, you're not Mr. Tippett. <laughs> and a lot of people think I'm a big guy, right? But uh, if you don't know him, I shouldn't really have to read this bio, but I'm afraid that he's going to have a flashback and think I'm one of those old quarterbacks uh, and get up and run at me, so I'm going to read this bio. Andre Tippett was drafted second round in 1982 out of the University of Iowa and played 12 seasons for the New England Patriots. He is the second player to earn the introduction to the Pro Football Hall of Fame after spending his entire career with the Patriots. Andre has played in five Pro Bowls, earned All-Star honors in each season. He played in 151 career games with 139 starts. And I'm sure knows that he didn't start in the Patriots' loss. Uh, and holds the Patriots fran franchise records with 100 career sacks. In 1984, he set a franchise record with 18.5 sacks followed by a conference leading 16.5 sacks in 1985 when they helped the Patriots to their first AFC championship and first Super Bowl appearance in franchise history. He retired after the 1993 season as, an, as the NFL's seventh leading sack artist of all time, a native of Newark, New Jersey. Andre has worked in the front office of the Patriots since 1994 Retire, his retirement in 1994 and is currently serving as the team's executive director of community affairs. Of community affairs. Please join me in welcoming Andre Tippett. Thank you guys and it is a pleasure to be here with everyone today. I want to thank all of you in attendance today. It, is, uh, it says a lot about who you are says a lot about who you are and your character. Um, I figured being a football player, I would come in and bring in a uh, football analogy to what we do with the Patriots and what we've decided to do to be part of the solution here. Um, losers assemble in little groups and complain about the coaches and players and other little groups. But winners assemble as a team. Mr. Kraft stated in his September press release, every great team needs a great quarterback and head coach. And what we did was we joined forces, and the governor had mentioned Mara Healy, we uh, joined forces with the AG and made her our quarterback. We joined forces with Jane Doe and made them the head coach. And through that, we came up with a game change uh, program. The program is our Patriot Anti-Violence Partnership, and it's about education and training. We're reaching out to about 90 schools across the state of Massachusetts, and we hope to leave some type of impact along the way. Uh, myself, the Kraft family, and the New England Patriots promise you this will be our part of the solution that we will try to offer. Uh, I know I was told to have five minutes to be up here and speak, so Craig, how was that? Was that five minutes? Good. So they always said, my Oak Ball coach used to tell me short speeches make for long friends. So I want to thank you guys for the opportunity. And I'd like to mention one more thing before I step down. I, noticed, uh, I know that there are high school programs that have been added to the, to the uh, campaign today. And I know that uh, there are a few of the uh, teams from the Catholic League and uh, my son's high school is here, uh, Zaverian High School. And they don't really need a shout out because they've been doing a lot of good things, but I'm glad to see them here along with the other Catholic League teams and some of the other public school teams that are here. We're also looking to get involved with high school football to also add uh, our part of the solution in, in teaching and, and, and training. Thank you guys and have a great day.